The Karar Mainbel tank, or Striker in English, is an indigenous combat vehicle developed in-house by Iran's Defense Industries Organization. The main battle tank was showcased to the public for the first time in August 2016. The Defense Ministry of Iran launched the production line of the Karar main battle tank at the Bani Hashim Armor Industrial Complex to facilitate mass production of the vehicles in March 2017. The tank has undergone rigorous tests by the Iran Army and been declared combat ready by the Army in November 2017. Deliveries of the main battle tank were scheduled to begin in 2018. Today we'll discuss in detail the impressive Karar tank and compare it to other last-gen tanks. I'm your host Isiv and welcome to Defense and Geopolitics. First we'll discuss the Karar main battle tank design and features. The Karar battle tank shares a striking resemblance with the T-90MS battle tank of Russia. The hull is majorly divided into three compartments with the driver's cap at the forward, the turret in the center, and the power pack in the rear. The vehicle is equipped with a laser rangefinder to track targets with high degree of accuracy. It features an advanced battle feed management system, or BMS, supported by digital panels fitted inside the hull. The battlefield management system integrates data from the sensor systems, other tanks, and digital maps. The tank is equipped with an electro-optical fire control system and embedded night vision systems for the onboard crew members. The vehicle is also fitted with advanced observation systems aided by rear-mounted digital camera near the periscope. Other standard equipment aboard the vehicle includes a ballistic computer, a nuclear, biological and chemical protection system and LED headlights. Now we'll talk about the main armament aboard the Karar main battle tank. The main gun fitted to the Karar main battle tank is a 125 caliber coaxial smoothbore gun. The secondary weapon includes a remote weapon system mounted with a 7.62 mm machine gun. The 125 mm gun can fire armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot, as you can see here. It also fires high explosive fragmentation. It is also equipped with a fume extractor and a thermal sleeve. Next is the self-protection of the Karar main bell tank. The Karar main bell tank incorporates a dynamic self-protection system supported by explosive reactive armor at the forward hole, which consists of slabs of high explosive and thin metal plates. So when it is attacked by a penetrating weapon, the explosive detonates, forcibly driving the metal plates apart to damage the penetrator. As a result, the shape charged jet is disrupted. It needs to penetrate more to the target, but at that time, it lost most or all of its penetrating power. The sides of the turret are also attached with spaced composite armor, which for example consists of a couple steel layers and glass reinforced plastic sandwiched between them that help them defeat high explosive anti-tank rounds as you can see here while the roof is fitted with add-on armor for additional protection. The protection system enables the turret to withstand chemical and kinetic energy impact. The rear part of the hull and turret are hinged with cage armor for protection against rocket-propelled grenade or RPG attacks. The vehicle is also fitted with two banks of three smoke grenade dischargers. Next is the engine and mobility. The Karar battle tank is powered by a rear-mounted diesel engine with a rated power output of up to 1,200 horsepower. The rear hull has a provision to carry two diesel tanks with the capacity of 200 liters each to extend the operational range of the tank. The tank has the ability to travel at a maximum speed of 70 km per hour, while the maximum operational range of the vehicle is 550 km. The vehicle is also equipped with a torsion bar suspension, including a six-road wheels on each side of the hull. Each track includes idler at the forward wheel station, drive sprocket at the rear, and three return rollers. The tank is pretty impressive, but lastly, let's compare it to two famous modern battle tanks, the Chinese Type 99 tank and the M1 Abrams tank. All three are third-generation tanks. As you can see here, the Karar is better when it comes to weight and range, but it lacks a little bit of main gun ammo load, max speed and engine power. 
As for the numbers build for the Karar, there is over 685 built and 800 to be delivered by the end of 2022. This is the end of the video. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike and tell us in the comments below what would you like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.